Dear humans, it is with great delight that we come amongst you to tell you something. You have been lied to. You have been lied to because you, are, you have been told that you are a human being. You have been told that as a human being, there are certain aspects of you that are limited, that are not good, that they must be controlled and manipulated because without it, well, without this control, then others cannot tell you what to do. And we come to remind you that you are truly a cosmic being. And as part of the cosmos, you have so much more available to you than you think that you do. The forces that tell you of your nature and teach you about your nature, they do so because it benefits them and the structures that they have created for you. They have made these structures so normal that they say, well, this is what it is like. This is reality, you see, and if you can be part of it, there's something wrong with you. And when you begin to see your true nature as a cosmic being, you begin to really see and have access to your true resources your true light, your true creation power. See, these forces understand that your powers are so great that if you were to begin living as a cosmic being, well, then they cannot control you anymore. They cannot force you into their institutions, you see. And they cannot keep siphoning off your power. But the being, the cosmic being that you are, it is not possible to keep you that controlled. Often, many of you experience this as pain. You feel that you have been forced into a smallness, and yet there's a part of you that experiences reality in, so much, in a much more magnificent and greater way. It is creating beyond these dimensions. And when you open yourselves up to your true essence, to your true beingness, and you begin to see yourself beyond this dimension, you begin to see yourself existing in other dimensions, and you begin to experience your true light, that well of star beingness. And when you do, ooh, it is fun. It is fun for you. However, many of you become intimidated by your true power. And so right away, some of you want to hand it over and back and say, I don't know about this. Is this too strange? This is too weird for me. I don't know what to do with all this. It feels too magical, too out of this world. And we say it is out of this world, for this world is not just within this world that you've been taught. It is beyond it in dimensions beyond the ones that you already are aware of. When you are taught to live in this smallness, it is very easy for others, certain forces, to create these fictional realities as holographic experiences for you and to say, here, experience this. And they start you at such a young age that you forget that there was one time when you could say no. I'd rather experience this other thing because this, it feels so much better. I feel so much greater. And instead they start you so early so that you cannot question anymore. So you say, no, this is what it is. And then you go and teach that to others. But there is always a nugget of truth that is part of your star seed. 
And some have already begun to really live in this fullness. And yet others are seeking it. And those who find it and live in it, they truly become those light beings. And creation for them is not rocket science. They realize it is part of their nature. They are not simply indoctrinated and recruited into being laborers and prisoners. They realize that they are creators and they begin to create. See, when we remind you to move through life fearlessly, it is not to deny to you your emotions. It is for you to realize that part of your emotions is your ability to understand and uplift yourselves. See, emotions are there to serve you, not to control you. However, certain forces understand that if you continue to live in fear and apathy and pain, and if you do not understand how to uplift yourself, then it is very easy for them to keep you down there. But as you practice this art of upliftment and you begin to understand your true nature as a creator, you see yourself as a true cosmic being that you are. And now there is a spring in your step. There's a twinkle in your eye. Fun begins to return to your existence. Peace, well-being, joy. And that is what we want for you. And as you connect to your higher being, and you see yourself as a true cosmic entity that you are, this is what you desire. And in this experience, you let go of what doesn't serve you and you are okay with it. And you are not intimidated anymore by the forces that want to tell you, this is how you must do it. If not, then you are not being a human being. And you say, that's right, because I'm a cosmic being. So go on. Let your true star essence guide the way.